What's good, peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Don't forget as well, please, to like and share the vids. That is still boiling. You can also support the channel as well. I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right, uh, Dave Allen returns to the ring this weekend. He fights on the undercard of Kel Brook's return as well. We haven't seen Dave Allen in the ring since he um, got beat by David Price. When was that fight again? I can't remember. I'm going to say the summer? August? Was it? July? Oh, I honestly can't remember when Dave Allen fought David Price. Anyway, regardless of that, I don't know what to make of Dave Allen. Um... He seems like a nice guy. We do know that he has his ups and downs with regard to sort of sinking in and out of depression. But um, overall, he seems like a decent person. I spoke to um, Henry um, of a guy called Henry who done um, this really good kind of behind the scenes documentary with Dave Allen and his sort of people that he's got under his sort of wings right now. And he seems like a great guy. I mean, Henry said he's an amazing guy. So we know he's a nice person, but I'm talking about I don't know about him as a uh, being a boxer. I just don't know how good he is. I've been screaming um, from the rooftops for like a year and a half now that David Price should retire. I've done so many videos saying David Price should call it quits. I was actually going to do a video today talking about David Price and that he should call it quits. David Price easily, easily beat Dave Allen. Beat him up, beat him up and pretty much eventually stopped him, right? That happened. So on the one hand, I'm saying David Price should retire and I'm still confused about what I think about Dave Allen. So I'm almost contradicting myself here. Um, Dave Allen's obviously a bit younger than David Price. But in terms of where I thought he was going to go, like when he beat Lucas Brown, great body shot, by the way, beat him, I actually thought he was going to go and beat David Price. And then I thought, you know what? <clears throat> As the motorbike goes past, I was just thinking... He could do something, not world level. I never ever thought, well, I'm, I'm not stupid, I'm not blind. Not world level, but I thought he could be in some fun fights, right? He might get to European level, maybe. Just might. Now, now I don't even think he's British level. Um, I'm being brutally honest here, I don't. I mean, I mean, Daniel Dubois is British level, as far as I'm concerned. Daniel Dubois is going to go past British level, but right now, Daniel Dubois is a British level fighter. Again, he will go past that. Um, obviously, the fight with Joe Joyce has been signed for April 18th. So if he beats Joe Joyce, he's definitely fringe. He's European fringe world level if he beats Joe Joyce. But right now, as it stands right now, Daniel Dubois is British level. Daniel Dubois would smoke Dave Allen in a couple of rounds as far as I'm concerned. Smoke him. Knock him out. Clean. So it's a strange one. It's going to be a strange rebuild job if that's what they're aiming to do with um, Dave Allen. Um, I just think... Sometimes, regardless of if he's serious, regardless of if he's in fantastic shape, regardless of if he's in high spirits, sometimes it just does come down to boxing ability. How good are you? And maybe, and this probably sounds a bit harsh, maybe he's just not that good a boxer. No shame in that. There's, there's no shame in being an English level boxer. There's no shame. Not everyone can get to British, European, and then eventually Worlds. There is no shame. So what they've got to do is almost match him up well, right? They've got to match him up with maybe some faded former world level guys. Maybe even some former world champion guys. I don't know. I'm trying to think of names out there. If Charles Martin loses a couple more. Guys like they maybe got to do that, right? And he can obviously put bums on seats and do it that way. If they're trying to almost kind of um, start the engine again, and say, like, if he wins on the weekend against, um, I think he's taken on, what's that guy's name again? Darion Dash or something that's lost. I think he's lost his last nine or ten or something. So it's obviously a quick step of a fight. Um, so if he wins this one, I hope they're not trying to start the engine again and try and promote him as though he's going to go on to British and Commonwealth and European level fights. He's just not that good. He, he isn't. And um, that, that probably does sound a bit harsh. Sorry, I'm stuttering through this one. Mm, still too hot. Probably sounds a bit harsh, but sometimes you've got to tell the truth, people. Sometimes you've got to tell the truth in life. There's no point being Mr. Fucking Nice Guy all the time. Dave Allen is an English level 
British level fighter, and I think that's his limit. That's his limit. Again, I was saying David Price should retire, and David Price destroyed him. And I think we saw what happened when David Price then fought Derek Chisora. There's levels to this game, people. And regardless of whether he's in shape or fighting fit, it comes down to boxing ability sometimes. That's just it. It just comes down to boxing ability. And he doesn't have enough boxing ability to compete with the high British guys, uh, European level guys, and I dare say fringe world level guys, he doesn't. They need to find more Lucas Browns of the world for him to beat on and make those somehow sellable fights because that's as far as it's going, I think. I don't mean to be Mr. Horrible, but it is. I, I get that. Um, I think he tweeted something about along the lines of he's just happy to do what he's doing in terms of being a boxer and he's happy to be in the boxing ring. And sometimes it is better for those type of guys with um, those type of personalities to be there because if they're not there, then what else are they doing? Um, I think of people like Billy Joe Saunders and Tyson Fury, and I think Dave Allen kind of falls into that sometimes. Um, but the boxing ring isn't a joke place to be. This isn't fucking badminton or tennis. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be fully up, and sometimes he isn't always fully focused. Um, he will be for this fight, but we'll get to see what happens after that. I'm rattling on. I don't know what I'm talking about. Peace.